Hey everybody, here we are for another custom figure review and this is going to be the big one that I told you guys about. I'm so excited to show you all of these figures in this batch. It's going to be really, really awesome. I can you tell you guys that. But um, I'm using a different setup for the uh, custom review this time. Uh, I used that in the latest uh, WWE figure vlog, this setup. And a lot of people liked it, so I figured I might just use it as well for the custom reviews. But if you guys want the white background back for that, I can do that as well. So I did put up a poll so you guys can uh, choose what you prefer. Either the white background or um, the arena as a background. As you can see, I'm filming Okada versus Cena at the moment for G uh, GCW WrestleMania 5. But I would say let's get right into the customs. And we'll start off with the first figure. This is our WrestleMania 33 um, batch. There's a bunch of other stuff in there as well, but mainly based on WrestleMania 33. And the first figure we got in this batch is Bray Wyatt based on WrestleMania 33. And this is absolutely amazing. Of course, what WWE did again with Bray Wyatt was ridiculous, but... The attire was so awesome and I was wondering if we could get this done as a custom and uh, my friend absolutely nailed this. I love it. I have got that uh, new t-shirt design of him um, which looks kind of cool and then he got the uh, red pants which is so cool with all the patches and all that kind of stuff. It looks beyond amazing and it is so awesome i had to get one done for my collection as well um i can show you guys that really quick um that was the wrong one um here we have it here's my version i'm going to put uh, the hat on it that i still have uh, i don't know if you guys remember i had a spare bray wyatt hat that i'm going to use on mine but this one is going to be up on the eBay page right now so if you want it it's available right now and there's also a big difference now to um, the shipping on our uh, eBay page so we had to deal with like some I don't want to say stupid people but people that don't read the description so um, shipping from here in the Philippines it takes like really long and that's like a big problem and now we uh, had to find a solution because of course I always put it in the description below uh, that it will take a while and all that kind of stuff but some people don't read the description I guess or whatever. So uh, we needed to figure out another way and now we're trying to ship these items out of Germany because I had like really good experience shipping stuff uh, from Germany should be a lot faster and so there will always be like a small delay um, from when the customs are done because first off we got to get them to Germany and then we will put the review up and then we will put the um, eBay listings up and all that kind of stuff so actually when I'm filming this video it might be like a week later when you're seeing the video but yeah I'm reviewing the customs now and then I'm going to send them all off via Express to Germany and then from Germany they're going to be shipped to their new buyers so I hope you guys do understand that but uh, this was just a move we had to do because shipping here like I said is like really slow and uh, some people do not read the description and then complain and you know uh, stupid stuff whatever this Bray Wyatt is like really really awesome like I said and beyond amazing figure that is going to be up right now on the eBay page when you're watching this. Then we also have another Bray Wyatt that is not based on a WrestleMania. But uh, since this one sold out so fast last time we had to do another Elimination Chamber Bray Wyatt. And that is of course from when he won the WWE Championship. A really really cool attire. I think the hat skin is a bit different on this one if you guys can tell. But otherwise it's pretty much the same figure. Uh, last batch we put that wired up. It sold out immediately. So a lot of people are always complaining that stuff sells so fast. So uh, we decided to do another Bray in this attire. So there will be two different Bray Wyatt's 
uh, available today so I hope you're going to be able to get one if you wanted to get an updated Bray Wyatt from us so that is also up on the eBay page I kind of reviewed this figure last time it's pretty much the same just the hat skin is a bit different so that is really cool based on his championship win at um, Wrestle on the Elimination Chamber he lost it of course at Wrestlemania uh, typical WWE booking um, next off what were we going to do next we also have another uh, John Cena in updated gear Elite 50 just came out in the red white and blue so this is the updated Cena we just sold one of these on the eBay page and uh, yeah now we're going to do another so that will be available as well a uh, typical Cena Elite um, I, I don't know I'm not sure it might be the WrestleMania attire as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I guess it could be. So yeah, this Cena is also um, going to be on the eBay page right now. Blue and orange attire. Pretty cool figure. And I would say next off, we're going to go into the AJ Styles figures. And first off, this AJ Styles I'm showing you is from Survivor Series. But uh, that is uh, for customers, so that is not going to be on the eBay page um, this is based of the uh, 5 on 5 Survivor Series match at Survivor Series last year I really love the blue attire and it looks so awesome of course the AJ Styles does not have a hat the buyer will put his hat on it so um, yeah it is always like kind of expensive to get AJ Styles figures over here and then we would need to ship them anyways again over to you guys so it might be easier for the people that are in the states just to go to walmart and buy an aj styles and uh, put their hats on it than for us kind of having to pay high prices on ebay or stuff so that's why this is headless and yeah that is going out like i said to a um, buyer of us that ordered that he's also waiting for a, a seth rollins that we're going to complete soon so that will probably be in the next custom uh, figure review. But yeah, this is the AJ Styles. Got everything. The um, armband he has. Really, really cool. Blue attire. Phenomenal one. Got all the logos. Those uh, Japanese stuff on there. Really, really cool AJ. And we actually have another AJ without hat. But that is going to be for the eBay page. And that AJ Styles is based on the Elimination Chamber and that is really close to his um, Wrestle Kingdom 10 attire if you remember the match with Shinsuke Nakamura I guess I've mentioned it that I've been to Wrestle Kingdom 10 before yeah I always say that but whatever um, that was a really cool match to see live but yeah it's really inspired by that attire I guess and he used it in the Elimination Chamber match uh, on Smackdown Live so uh, yeah really cool got the black armband here instead and it's pretty much the same AJ pretty much uses the same logos but uh, just different colors from time to time which really mixes it up I feel like he's like kind of the new CM Punk who uh, Punk always had like cool different attires as well and AJ does it as well he like always has a new one mostly for the pay-per-views so that is really cool of course uh, this is with the Sin Cara tour, so all of our AJs are using the Sin Cara tour, so because the um, torso Mattel is using is just way too skinny. So yeah, got also the P1 here on the uh, elbow pad. Really, really cool AJ. That is going to be up on the eBay page, like I said, without the head skin, of course. And then we also have another AJ, and that is based on WrestleMania 33. And I already did uh, post preview pictures of that. On my Instagram I quickly um, did put my elite AJ Styles hat on it it's not going to be sold with hat but I just put the hat on it so you guys can see a uh, WrestleMania 33 AJ Styles from the match with Shane McMahon which was probably the best match of WrestleMania 33 and this figure is just amazing I love the attire That's so so awesome um, I guess AJ kind of used a mixture of like older attires here because actually the kick pad and, and uh, this um, glove that kind of looks like his payback attire and this is like from his older gear like Royal Rumble or stuff and then he just has like new uh, tights and this attire is just like really really nice 
And like I said, AJ always has like new attires for pay-per-views, which is so cool. Again, Sin Cara torso and everything. Got the P1 logo there. Japanese stuff on there. So this is so cool. I love this AJ Styles. Will be on the eBay page as well without the head scan, like I said. So um, the head scan will not be included. I um, need that myself pretty much. So yeah, then we also have more stuff. There's like four more figures a really big batch here today we have a kevin owens we really never had a kevin owens custom so here is one based on wrestlemania 33 as well from the match with chris jericho a ko mania where he won the u.s title and i really like the attire it's something more updated for ko a ko mania kind of like the wrestlemania 2 logo and uh, got like the new shorts on the side it says ko here it says fight then let's take a look at it from the back again got the ko logo there as well and the elite 47 figure pretty much as a base uh, i really like the head skin on elite 47 i think it's the best one they did so far so yeah this is a pretty cool kevin owens also going to be available on the ebay page so uh, if you want that ebay link is in the description below and now we get to like my highlights of this batch um when i opened these up i just marked out these are crazily insane i don't even know who to start with but i guess we're going to start right now with the wrestlemania 33 seth rollins and this is just like insane just just take a look at it i'm not going to say anything just take a look at this thing this is like incredible and now of course it uses his wrestlemania 33 attire which was awesome it got the seth rollins vest but it's actually uh, sanded down and stuff to actually match his WrestleMania 33 look, which is so cool. I mean, this custom is just, oh my God, it's so insane. I don't even know what to say. Um, here he got, which is also a really insane part about this custom, is that it has those uh, parts that he had here. Those are actually, uh, how do, would you say that? Those are actually like attached to the figure those are not painted or anything. Those are like 3D if you can see that. This is just like crazy. On the other side as well. And then also here at the back of the boots. That's also not just painted. It's like 3D stuff. Which is like insane. Um, I guess you could remove the vest. I'm not going to do it now. But man this is just so incredible. And the tire is just amazing. And I love this figure so much that it's like I was like shocked when I uh, got that out of the package. So amazing, amazing Seth Rollins figure. I'm sure a lot of you guys will love this. So this is also available on the eBay page right now. And we are now moving on to the last two figures. And those are also some really high in demand customs at the moment because they also made their wwe return at wrestlemania 33 first off we have jeff hardy this is actually not based on wrestlemania 33 this is based on a raw but like i said you can see here this has like the best jeff hardy head scan you can imagine it's the elite one head scan with face paint removed head repainted and all that kind of stuff these Jeff Hardy head skins are just like insane. Then he got like all the tattoos even here on his um, neck as you can see. Those are added on there. Got the uh, a green thing there on his ear. Here has also the tattoos which is crazy. Uh, the white belt. Uh, this just looks so amazing. Really, really cool. And actually in the next batch I'm going to get a... a uh, updated hardy boys set for my collection as well so i'm super excited about that yeah and we'll just look at that jeff this is like amazing i know i say amazing and stuff a lot but i don't even know what to say other than that because it's just 
crazy how good these are. So Jeff Hardy going to be on the eBay page as well. And finally, we have some broken brilliance here today. And this is like my, I was just blown away by this. And I know I say it a lot, but this will blow you away as well. Look at this broken Matt Hardy and look at the detail on his pants. This is just like, I don't even know what to say about it. This is just crazy. How much detail are in those pants? I This looks like factory. If, if you said this is the Mattel sample, I would totally believe you because this is just like incredible. Um, got the head scan. I think uh, the broken Matt Hardy head scan even improved from the last customs. That is absolutely incredible. All the logos here as well. Uh, this mat is just crazy. This is really just crazy how good this turned out. And I'm getting this for my collection as well, which I'm so excited about. This one is for the eBay page, like I said. So if you're watching this right now, you actually have the chance to pick it up on the eBay page. Uh, that pretty much is all of the customs I have for you guys today. What I wanted to say as well is that... Um, there are a lot of people emailing me about customs and I'm sorry that I have not gotten back to everyone. Uh, at the moment, please do not email me for uh, requests. We are pretty busy with stuff and have a lineup right now. So um, yeah, I, I really don't know. There are just like so many emails coming in and I don't really, it's really hard to filter out who's like really serious and all that kind of stuff. So please, uh, no emails at the moment. I mean, you can send me emails. But uh, please don't be mad if I don't reply. So, but I'm like backlogged on emails like crazy. Not only custom reviews, but there are like other emails coming in as well, which is crazy. But yeah, I never thought I would be like getting so many emails to a point where I can't even reply to all of it. But yeah, it's really crazy at the moment. I guess that's like a good sign that the channel is moving into the right direction. So. I appreciate everyone taking the time sending in an email and stuff and down the line I probably will get back to you. Also, I'm so behind on Instagram direct messages. I guess there are like 70 requests now that I haven't answered yet. It's really hard. Uh, I'll try to answer most of the comments here on YouTube and stuff, but even that is getting to a point where it's impossible. So I guess I can't thank you guys for that because uh, without your support the channel wouldn't be running the way it is right now so i really do appreciate it i hope you did enjoy today's content this custom figure review i don't even know when it's going to be uploaded um like i said what i'm going to do now these are going to be shipped to germany and from germany they are going to be shipped out to their new owners that are going to purchase them on the ebay page so uh, once they are in germany i'm going to put the custom review up the ebay listings up and all that kind of stuff you guys know link is in the description below i really thank you guys for watching today and i guess that's it for now and i see you all in the next one